Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья. Hi, fellow anglers. I'm Yuri Petrash. Today we are going to talk about a new product from Fanatic Baits. Just a few days ago, we released a new product that everyone has been waiting for. This is a bait called Gobi. This bait was really anticipated. It took a lot of development before getting to the stores, but it was worth the time spent. Today, I'm not going to talk about the color range and edible characteristics of the bait. If you're interested in this information, you can watch my first review. In this video, I would like to bring to your attention how the bait works. The bait resembles a goby in shape and is available in three sizes. 3.5 inch for catching walleye and bass, 4.5 inch for catching bigger walleye and bass, and 2 inch for catching smaller or more passive fish. A long time ago, many anglers asked me to make a bait resembling the goby, but I did not want to make a copy that would be similar to the goby in appearance. That is why I gave the bait features that would make even the most passive fish bite it. The main feature of the bait is that it does not display any distinctive behavior, unlike the others. But it will attract the attention of fish even if you leave it motionless. Let's see how it behaves in the water. Gobi can be used both with a head jig and a demountable fanatic jig. But in my opinion, the jig head allows for more active movements. As we can see, the front fins are waggling slightly and the tail fin is slowly going down. If you twitch the line, the bait will make different movements and yet stay in the same place. The bait shows its great potential in a fishing technique called drop shot. That is why anglers who prefer using this technique are going to appreciate this bait. Those who have yet to try it will be able to master the technique with this bait. Let's see how it looks in the water. Very often, when fishing for bass or walleye, we have to catch it in places full of snags. Drop shot fishing will help us there. As we can see, the weight is almost motionless, and if there is any flow, there is usually some flow when catching walleye, then we loosen the line, and the bait lures the fish really well, due to its movement. It moves backwards, and without even touching the weight, we can lure the most passive fish. Of course, some slight changes in the location of the weight create a certain playful behavior. It is clear to see that the bait has no active characteristics, but due to its design, it's very tempting for the fish. Right now, you can see how the fish, having tested the bait, is not leaving it and continues to attack. Despite the fact that the bait is the same size as the fish itself, the taste of the bait makes even the most passive fish nibble it continuously. Of course, such fishing needs a lot of patience, because it is difficult to keep the bait in one place for very long. But if you have already found the fish, but don't know how to make them bite, then this bait can be of great help to you. The bait is also good with a classical jig construction. But I will repeat, when the fish is found, and you need to make it bite, that primarily it looks better with small movements of the tackle. By using the drop shot technique and leaving the bait in one location, you can catch the most cautious predator. The bait is also good when you see that the fish is very passive. In this case, you can change the bait a little bit. Tear off the lateral fins and the bait is changed. If you see that the fish is biting cautiously without the fins, you can make it bite more readily. Many walleye anglers know that if a fish does not like something, it often bites the bait's tail off. Once you come across a walleye that does this, use this bait immediately, and the chances are high that the next cast is going to be successful. I have dedicated many years of my life to fishing for walleye and zander, and I can say that I lacked such bait at that time. But now, I hope that this bait will bring you new fishing experiences 
unknown to you before. Subscribe to the channel and see you in my next reviews.